Hello, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jaden Wozni with your top stories from this past week. Five people are dead after a crane collapsed in downtown Kelowna on Monday morning. Four of those who were killed were working on the crane, while another was working in an office building adjacent to the under construction tower. The CEO of the company developing the site where the crane came crashing down called the incident the most serious catastrophe they have ever experienced. Kelowna-based Mission Group, the development company behind the project, said late Monday that the fatal failure happened during the crane's dismantling process. A vigil was also held by the North Okanagan Labor Council near the scene of the accident on Friday night, where a large crowd was gathered to pay their respects and honor those who lost their lives. RCMP in Kelowna are investigating after a man was filmed yelling racist comments at a security guard outside of a vaccine clinic. The video shows Bruce Ordzik, a well-known anti-vaxxer from Kelowna, yelling at a South Asian security guard for trying to get protesters to simply move along. A warning to our viewers, this video may be offensive in nature. Uh, go back to your country. You're not a Canadian. You're not a Canadian. You don't have to worry about that, man. Talk you are not a Canadian. You are disgusting. The incident has drawn a statement from the B.C. Premier, John Horgan, who condemned the verbal abuse via Twitter. Just over 300 wildfires continue to burn across B.C., which has led to evacuation orders and alerts, as well as crews working around the clock to try to stop the mass influx of fires. There are currently 19 evacuation orders and 44 alerts for people to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. A fire burning near West Kelowna at Brenda Creek has also threatened the power source for the city and other communities near it. It's been reported that the fire has actually passed the power source, but people in West Kelowna reported two separate instances of power flickering on Thursday afternoon. To Kamloops T. Sequepam First Nation released a report on the findings of the search at the former Kamloops Indian Residential School site. The discovery of a child's rib bone near an old apple orchard on the grounds of the former school site is what originally helped researchers locate the unmarked grave sites containing the remains of hundreds. Chief Roseanne Casimir is asking for Justin Trudeau to hand over the attendance records from the former Kamloops Residential School site so that her community can properly identify the children who lost their lives. She's also asking for more cooperation from the federal government as the number of missing Indigenous children being found buried continues to rise across the country. Penticton RCMP and bylaw will be busy handing out tickets this summer, but not necessarily the kind that leaves you with less cash in the bank. They will be helping out with the South Okanagan Brain Injury Society with the fifth annual Positive Ticketing event. Positive tickets are a coupon, voucher, token, or note that have value for goods, services, or some type of credit, and they'll be handed out to kids and youth starting July 15th who were spotted around town wearing their safety gear while recreating, such as helmets. Thank you all for watching. That's been this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Jaden Wozni.